gamers, gamers, one and all, it's time to go to Mythic on MTG Mom. It is the beautiful month of May, 2023. Uh, this is like the most ridiculously fun draft format that I have played in so long. And I was having a really fun time. We were vaguely climbing upwards. But of course, I just didn't have a lot of streaming days available last month. So this month, we're committing the days, committing the time to hitting Mythic with 100% of everything on air. Let me first pick one. Ugh. Rebound? Uh, these are very, very difficult for me to choose one and to track one. I'm probably just going to get the Invasion of Eldraine because I'm a coward. I like this card quite a bit. Alright. Or actually, there's a Preening Champion. I'm going to get the Preening Champion. Woo, that was close. Alright, I love, 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 cap, love this set. I love this set. I love this set. Now, why didn't I have the enough days to stream last month? Well, many of you may know it's because... It's because... We started a game studio, and we have funded, and we're hiring. I'm going to continue to blast this at the start of every draft. If you're interested in joining me to work on a video game, right there's your Linkaroni and the Pepperoni. Eh? Eh? That's right, big-time CEO. As it turns out, Spherical, all you need to do to be a CEO is to fill out paperwork. Halo Forager. I really like this card. It's a flying 3-1, uh, which is quite a lot of power to pop down with uh, as a threat. But more importantly, it's great to draw later because you pay X and you can just cast something from the graveyard that costs X or less. And it's an instant or sorcery from a graveyard, not from your graveyard. Is untapped for running? It sure isn't. Let me just get my little companion yap going. We have Umori the Collector, which is probably just correct to pick here, right? If I'm, if I am being honest with myself, a 4 5 for 4 that reduces spells of the chosen type. And let me just click my untapped window over the way here. Close that. There we go. Other cards that are good here Mirror Shield Hoplite can be really powerful if you have enough backup cards. Render Inert, I think, is only okay. Only okay. Um,. Um, I like Nizumi Informant. I don't think I've done the Demir colors. But yeah, I think Umori is correct because choose a card type. Instant or Sorcery is great if we are black-blue. Creature is great if we are black-green. I think this is a solid, solid, solid card. There is the Invasion of freaking Zendikar. Oh my god, it's my favorite card. I love the Invasion of Zendikar. Ooh, this is tough. There's also an Aether Blade Agent, which I think is great. Uh, failed Conversion I don't dislike either. You know, I think that uh, every single bone in my body wants to get Invasion of Zendikar, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Aether Blade Agent. I don't normally do Black Blue. This is our very first draft in May. And I think the black blue is quite good. There's a lot of really versatile spells in both colors. A Scorn Blade Berserker, you say? This is a very good card for us. A very, very good card for us. A Scorn Blade Berserker is just great as a, you know. Way to get some extra value. It cycles. It leaves a counter. You can block, sack, redraw. I think it's amazing. Um, what else is here? This card is good. This card is really good. Invasion of Kylem. Invasion of Kylem is so bad. So terrible. Awful. No good. Very bad card. Cut short is excellent. It's a Convoke Destroy. Damn. 
Was this a Realm Breaker's Grasp? Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, we're seeing we're seeing some really, really good white cards now that I've actually brought my eyeballs to it. I didn't see the Realm Breaker's Grasp. I was busy looking at chat like a clown. Like a fool. Um, I think cut short is sufficiently good that I'm going to take it. We could also just pick up the Assimilate Essence. I'm a little confused. I think cut short is good enough that I'm willing to take it. Nothing here is screaming, Sean, Sean, pick me, pick me. I actually don't really like these cyclers as much if I'm in a Demir list that's trying to stay low to the ground. I kind of feel like picking one of these two. I'll probably get the Etched Familiar. Why do we want Ryav? Ryav is pretty fun. I, I think that Black Blue is reasonable. Alabaster Host Sanctifier, you say. I guess Icker Shade. I guess. I'm a little concerned about getting too stacked up on things in the three drop slot. But Icker Shade, I think, is reasonably strong. Dude, Alabaster Host Sanctifier is really good, though. 2 2 with Lifelink. You know what? You know what? I don't give a damn. Or do I? Do I give a damn? I'm gonna get the extra shade. Really? That wield? Not that surprised. I'm gonna get the assimilate essence. I definitely underrun this card. Oracle of Tragedies. Excellent. Do we want the render inert? I mean. Between these two, we might get traumatic revelation, maybe. But um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty weak as a player and streamer. <laughs> uh, hey, another simulate essence. I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure we're gonna be playing this out. Hey, look, we even, we even got the swamp. We're in the right colors. Oh. All right, of course I would get the Archpriest of Shadows, right? Yeah, like, why not? Why not? Why not? Easy rare. Other cards I want, I definitely want the Blight Reaper Thalid. I'm also keen on getting some form of draw. Unsealed the Necropolis is fine. Um, I really want some of the Convokers, because I have this Preening Champion. Scornblade Berserker, Oracle of Tragedy, and Aetherblade Agent are all acceptable ones. Corruption of Talashi, I'm quite a big fan of. Quite a big fan of the Corruption of Talashi. We're definitely on the slower side of things. We might be needing to lean into the return to hands counter magic type stuff. Passing a Spell Spear is painful. Not the most painful. I, I really do quite like this card. I do think card draw is quite important. I'm going to go ahead and remove that one because I'm not super certain on it. Are you playing Age of Wonders? I'm actually not. What up, Helio 2K? Yeah, Magic Christian, I see you. I see you. I see you. 
All right. I probably do want the Corrupted Conviction. Probably do want this. This guy's great. Anything else that good here? I'm not I'm not very pleased with our deck, to be honest. I mean we have we have these two flyers, the Halo Forger and the Preening Champion. Archpriest Shadows would be nice to dump those ones on. Wicked Slumber is okay. I mean, I, I, I like this card. I just don't quite like it in what we're doing right now. Because we're kind of slow. I, I'm really more interested in card draw cards. Like an Eye of Gataxius would be nice. Hey, Tetsuko Umezawa. Very, very good card for us. We're going to have a lot of X1s. You know, 1-1, one, 3-1. One, one. Another 1-1 one, one here. Still hungry for card draw. Yeah, third Realm Breaker's Grasp. Yeah, yeah. I think that if I had seen Realm Breaker's Grasp, which for any of you who don't know the name, it is the two-mana white card that just disables. Target creature can't attack or block and can't activate its abilities. If I had seen that, I probably would have been leaning more towards that. Ilya, two cases a couple weeks ago. I thought about your daily where you explained how important gaming, and I think StarCraft was in particular. Good soul, my friend. Hey, thanks, Helio. I am nearly certain I know of what you are speaking. Maybe daily number 100. I do think games are really important. I really, really do. I think that it's just nice to be able to connect to people or to learn more about yourself through playing games. White, black would have been good. Well, I, I think that you always have to say yes with an asterisk because let's say I start picking white. Then all of a sudden, that's going to have an effect on the cards that I am passing onward that may have caused someone else to change their decision making. I think Eye of Gataxius is very good here. I, re I really quite value this card a lot in this style of deck. Like, I'd, I'd like to have almost nothing that's above four and five. Like, part of me doesn't even want to run failed conversion, but I unfortunately have, like, no freaking removal. Wow, like, really, people are still not picking those white cards, huh? <laughs> but hey, we got the most powerful removal of all. We got Glistening Deluge. Please, keep resting. Keep resting. Yeah, Delusional. That was pretty good. I like that one. All right, there's a Thunderhead Squadron. There's also another Corrupted Conviction. I'll get the Thunderhead Squadron. I think this is a nice little Convoke card. Especially given that we are having, like, Preening Champions that can help with that. Archpriest of the Shadows can also work well with the Squadron. Arius says, what colors are generally the best in Mom Limited, assuming all are open? I'm not really sure. Probably something among um, blue, black, blue, red, blue, white, white, black. Blue seems really good. I'm gonna get unsealed in Acropolis. Each player mills and return two creatures. I, I think it's pretty good. None of these are screaming to me. I'm going to go ahead and get the Bloodfell Caves in case I open some insane rare. Wicked Slumber. Okay, sure. Little Manta Barrage. Nice. Corruption of Tawashi. Number two. Karuga the Macro Sage, number one. That's probably going to be it, huh? Karuga the Macro Sage? I mean, this guy's pretty fucking sick. Yep. 
I guess I'm gonna get this guy. I I'm I'm not really extremely happy about our list. I'm gonna get Karuga because it's just a very straightforward way to draw some damn cards, baby. Alright, I'm like the best player ever. Doesn't even matter, I'm like literally too good. <laughs> I wish this was over here, but you know. Uh, I, I'm I'm worried how heavy this list is. Like we are, we have some pricey shit. I mean, this guy's like way down here, but I mean, I don't think we can even afford to run this failed conversion. It's so. I mean, when uh, this is also down here, but I mean, like this is just a lot of big turkeys, you know. Oh, well, there's deadly derision. We're gonna be taking that one. Just period. Snag that one, maybe this one wheels, but Deadly Derision is exactly what we need. Well, here's the good cards. I mean, I gotta I gotta take the Deadly Derision, huh? I mean I just have to take this one, so we'll take that one. <laughs> Ugh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Well, there's Invasion of Eldraine. Again, this is like the third one we've seen. Alright, what, what the heck is this deck doing? Like, what are we doing? There's another Deadly Derision, okay. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't know what is going on, okay? <laughs> I believe in deriding people until they pass away. I'm a big fan of Deadly Derision. All right, well. I'm not super sure about both of these. I'm not super sure about this now that I have a million removal spells. Rona. 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 I actually don't know if this is good. We have way too much expensive stuff here, man. All these, huh? What? Alright, the completed Huntmaster. Herd of Analysts. Give me the dual land. There were two of these in there? Okay. Uh, we appear to have earned most of our deck at the very end. I, I actually really don't like this list that much. I'm not going to companion, you are correct. This is not this is not where I want to be. Uh, let's see. We uh we are lacking in draw. <laughs> Look how much expensive shit I have up here, man. 13 creatures. Well, I don't want to cut a creature.
Rona, I think, is the worst card here. Rona, I think, is not great. Get out of here, Rona. Okay. What are some other cards that might be relevant? I think that this is the game. This is it. This is this is what we're doing. 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 I like Icker Shade. I like X Familiar, but these are a little bit better in the black red lists. I mean, what I really need is not things that are giving me value in terms of I am bigger and not value in terms of you are dying faster. But I want things like the Completed Huntmaster that give me ways to spend mana and accumulate value over the long term. Because this is effectively what we're seeing here. We're effectively seeing that we're a long-term, slow, grindy, eventually shit on you. I'm like a manipul manipulative loved one. All right. Um... Uh... No on the Rona. All right. Because we cut Rona. Actually, that just sounds way too way too pandemic-y now that I think about it. Um. Ah. Uh, Doubtful Demir. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the name. This is the name. This is the name. We are the Doubtful Demir deck. How many wins am I gonna get? Let's take a peek. Now, one of the reasons why I'm going 17 land is that um, we do have kind of almost all of our power is in here. Even if I like pull this thing out of the way because it's Convoke, I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six that cost four, and another three that cost five. So I want to make sure that I'm actually getting some of the powerful benefits consistently. Dark Paladin says, why is Day Nine's game studio not called This Is The Name? I mean, we, we haven't announced the name of the studio yet, Dark Paladin. Nobody fucking knows. Well, that looks like a terrible starting hand. That looks like a good starting hand. Obviously this. All right, we're doing it. Ow. That's actually a really good one. This guy transforming is a little annoying, but that's okay. Spend the mana, lose the mana. He's normally this big on MTGA days. Actually, dude, I'm like fucking huge, man. Let me... There we go. You know, let, let, let's go to the What the Deck screen. That's the size I normally am. But you know what? Get out of here. Be gone. All right, so I think the right thing to do is to name creature for the complicated hunt master. Gains nine TV. Will you chump? Yes. Flap and flyer. All 
All right. Got awfully loud on my screen. Do do do. I miss the days of Dana playing Uro and making the Uro noises. You mean oh? Sack the treasure, deadly derision upside with complicated hunt master. Summon it. Get away from the space bar. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop. Let go. You are just you are just way too happy now that you're healed. You need to stand up. No, don't try to get pet. Dude, 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 dude. 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 Fuck. Dude. 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 Let go. Let go. Ah. Go kill your sister. Okay, there we go. Fuck. Yeah, and then, then my camera freezes and everything goes to black. You went away for a second? That makes sense. Okay, bye bye. Ho, 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 ho. How's Sheriff doing? Yeah, Justin Timbersaw, which, by the way, is an amazing name. She's doing okay. She's doing okay. I just, you know, I worry that she's not getting enough attention because, first of all, Cece is the neediest fucking dog. Cece's always like, Whoa! Like, like, all day. So she gets her attention. And of course, Despy's been super sick. And Sheriff's generally just kind of cool with everything. She's just like... She's just she's just chilling, right? She's just like, no, I'm good. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, but like, then, then right around 5 a.m., she's just like, no! Oh! She, actually, you know what? I have three fucking needy pets, right? I have three needy people relying on me. It's just me and Brett satisfying the needs of these fucking needy animals. You have a snack? Okay, opponent goes first. Hand looks like shit. This is the hand. Three deadly derisions is pretty good. Deadly derision is pretty good. <laughs> Nicodemus is nine pets here. I feel you, man, dude. Dude, what is what is fucking happening here? Hold on one second. All right, all right. I really need to retape this thing. Hold on, I'm turning it off and turning it on again. So, boop. Boop. Don't worry, I'm playing the preening champion. I'm preening. A fucking preening. Alright. He preens. Day 9 Radio! And now we have the perfect princess lump. She's starting to get her little chunky cat fat back. I'm definitely saying goodbye to Tetsuko Umazawa, because I need the Landos. I'm willing to trade this now that I have the Archpriest of Shadows. Because I can just put this on the Preening Champion. Ever deals damage. Return to a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Damn. Damn. Knight Errant Eos! Fuck yeah, another Trailblazing Historian. Ugh. I'm going to do this right now. I just need the land so badly. Oh, praise it.
Praise the roof. Honestly, the graces are yours. Spring shedding right now. Yeah, they're shedding like crazy, but I need this one to get chunky again because she had liver disease, which like ate away a lot of the muscle and fat in her back and legs. I mean, these, this is the obvious one, right? This is like clearly what we do, huh? Coming in hot. Do I just eat this one then? Is this mine? Is this one mine? And at the bottom is the... Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Don't you fucking... No! Oh! I actually think this is the play. Has death touch. That was fucking so good. That was fucking so good. That was fucking so good. Yeah, no, I mean this 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 is this is this set. This set it just has a lot of words, has a lot of fucking words there. So I mean I'm gonna Karuga. No, I'm not. Better let me counter this. Yep. This is the game. This is the game. Rev Renarok says, Hey, Sean, I've been watching your content on YouTube for years. Just wanted to uh, thank you. You guys have joys brought me, you beautiful bastard. Hey, thank you. Thank you also for calling me by my true name. You bastard. So... <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice to be seen. Uh, what I'm going to try to do... Mm. I, I want to actually be at a point where there are things that I'm derisioning that are actual threats so then I can wait until I have even more three drops out. Alright, well that's really helpful. See, now, now, because I have this out, I'll be able to draw two off Karuga the Macro Sage. Now I gotta wait. Card has flash? Yeah, it's, it's pretty fucking good. Sure. See, I think it was right to play that situation a little bit more greedily, like this. Because then when I play Karuga, that's one, two, three cards drawn. What is the audio on this one where it's just oh, 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 oh. Just like fucking screaming the whole time, man. Just absolutely losing it. Oh, oh, oh. Every time, every single time, I, it makes me laugh. Like without fail.
well, this is the game. So this is... better to do and turn this into all right all right okay all right so I've used all three deadly derisions I think I have no way to deal with Aurelia I mean, that, that sucks a little bit. I mean, I know a lot of you are like, oh, wasted removal, etc., X, Y, Z. I, I think our play was still fine. I think our play was still fine on the Deadly Derision. I mean, the chances are that we're going to lose here, but... We, we have some outs. We have the Halo Forager. That's going to be probably our most notable out. I mean, this, this is just one of the best cards in the entire fucking set, so. Okay, so let's... So, we do need to do some stuff right now, so we're just going to unseal the Necropolis. We got the Halo Forager, so that's good. Probably, probably Archpriest of Shadows, probably. This is the one we want. Shoot this thing. So if this trades here, then that's terrific, because then we can Archpriest to the Shadows to get it back. We're amazing. One of the best players that ever lived, hands down. Feels great. Now let me just say I saw some doubters and haters rush to their keyboard when Aurelia slammed down. Thing nine, you wasted your removal spell removing things. Oh, but you forget that I always draw what I need. Anyone who says otherwise is a coward. Chances are I'm I'm blocking this. Chances are looking such that that is the case. So we put it on this one, right? This is, I mean, this is a little tricky for sure. Oh, all right, they got me, and then we died. 
Where are the haters? Get to your keyboards as quickly as you can. Quickly, to the keyboards. <laughs> The haters, they've done it. Ah, here I am, I'm coming to check in, day nine. Did you lose? Yes. Yeah, that, that card, that card is legitimately not very good. Legitimately not very good. I was tuned into day nine and I thought, I hate this man. Back me up. That is such a fucking good draw. Holy shit, I can't believe how good this draw is. Thoughts on the Lord of the Rings MTG coming out in June? I, I basically don't really have any. I know that's a relatively boring answer, but I'm a relatively boring lad. Operation Bing Bong going very well this time of year. Oh shit, it's fucking Dana. There she is, it's Dana. I wanna do this now. Yeah, I actually think doing it now seems pretty, pretty rad. Cause I can bink this, and then I can Operation Bing Bong Bang like that. That's pretty good. Remove her. What does she do? She is, whenever you draw your second card, Operation Bing Bong happens. Very good cards in villain's hand. We'll give him the one that gives him the less stuff. So I I'm literally just gonna Karuga right now. We're gonna draw two. We have Archpriest of Shadows. If Karuga dies, we then have the opportunity to get it back with Archpriest of Shadows backup ability. So I'm feeling feeling reasonable pleased with this. Also, Scornblade Berserker, another one to, that's good to get back. Dude, Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC? I'm gonna fucking play Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. I'm gonna get my little spear and start stabbing people again. I, I miss my chonky athlete. For those of you that didn't watch my Elden Ring playthrough, I, like, maxed Endurance as my main stat. Like, the most amount ever. Oh, this one's not that great. Especially not the Deadly Derision. Yeah, I'm watching it now. <laughs> is, that, is that an insult? Yeah, no, but I, I maxed Endurance. I maxed Endurance in that, so I had, like, the heaviest armor and the heaviest shield. Um, and I could still medium roll. <laughs> What's the cost of Exile? It's uh, Black and Two. Aqua Jolt. Black and Two. So, in case any weird reanimation antics occur. Because this is some really good legendary shit here. Ren and Realm Breaker. Blighted Burgeoning. Oh god, that is really good news for us. Tap, untap, tap. I hate to say it, but that's not exactly what you want to be doing. I mean, that's really good. Yeah, it's fucking pretty good move. 
I mean, this maneuver that I pulled off appears to have performed above averagely. Uh, and we take those. We take those Ws. Where are the haters? Where are the haters at? I don't believe it. I'm still mad about game two. I'll be honest, I'm pretty pissed as well. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we stand up. I think it's time to use a little standing, huh? <laughs> Beastro masses, I continue to feel nothing. Well, that's good. That's good. Maybe you should take a cold plunge. I think that a preening champion and Thunderhead squadron is pretty good together. Yakety sax. I am good to axe. Alright. We're raising it. We're raising the roof. And by the roof, I mean the IKEA standing desk. Ooh, that's a good draw. Get green with the machine. Let's go! Help me. Oh, sh. Oh, fuck. That's not reacting. Oh, that's some fucking horseshit right there. Ugh. Yeah, so I think that the Sword of Once and Future is kind of a little too good here. Oh my god. Alright, we're standing. We're a man with a plan and a stand. I don't think I have a way to interact with this. Yeah, like, like drafting blue and black and then going up against the sword that has protection from blue and black. I mean, that's a little bit shit. Value. That's why we like corrupted conviction. Oof. Yeah, this is. I mean, the sort of once in future is kind of so so unbelievably bad for us. Because now there's a life linker with protection from all of my colors, so I can't even cast a removal spell on this. This is, this is effectively a six-turn clock straight up. So I kind of have to hope. Well, I guess actually the Eye of Gataxius makes a Phyrexian. So the Phyrexian can block. I didn't think about that. So this dude's toast. So now that was just deal three damage for Veil too, so that's okay. Now all you are saying Incubate three, Eye of Gataxius can help. But like you said it after I did, so you know. No dice. Dude, I'm gonna do some stretches. I'm gonna stretch my quads. Oh, that feels fucking good, man. Dude, yo, stretching is busted. Ooh, actually, this is... That, this is an interesting one. I, I actually think that this is the play that I'm going to do. Because this puts a huge amount of tempo pressure on villain. Oh, dude, I love that stretchy feeling. Oh! <laughs> oh! I, I'm always curious, like, what people's first experience watching me is. I'm always really curious. Because who, who tunes in? It's like, dude, you gotta watch this Day 9 guy. He's really good at drafting. <laughs> he tunes in, and I'm just... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Quad stretches. Oh! Oh! Shoot! The invasion of Eldrain. Eldrank. Your life has been cut short. 
All right. This is actually looking like a like a W. Sure, sure says, well, not the very first time, but I know you from SC2 casting, right? This is really just chill to watch. Hey, happy to hear it. Yakety sax. I have good tax. Kaboom. Because this is two or less, right? Alright, this is the game. Oh, that's so much life gain. Jesus. Fucking hell. Literally, this Icker Drinker is just such a piece of shit, man. Oh, that's the throne of... Oh, shit. Alright, so this, this works against that a little bit. I should have done this before and just put it on the preening champion, but now I want to at least try to, like, trade or something. There is anything here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Scorn blade bedonker. All right. Shit. Shit. Farts. Shit farts. Rats. Oh my god, it's gonna go on this guy. Ay ay ay. Yeah, that's right. Dude, villain has healed so fucking much. So let's see, they're gonna swing for four, and that's just gonna get in. They're gonna have one back, so they can block three. So that's one, two, three. Oh shit. Um should have blocked and sacked Imo. We cannot block and sack the opponent has protection from black and blue, which is why we're not even getting the opportunity to interact. We just literally can't. This is why I was joking that this is, like, literally the anti-us deck. It's like, protection from all cards in your deck. Alright, well, that sucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. God, we are almost... Damn, dude, we lost to one card. Fuck. Dude, we dealt so much damage to villain, but we just can't beat the sword. Can't beat the sword. Can't beat the sword. Swords Unlimited are kind of lame. I... 
No, I think it's just it's just it's just the nature of the game. Just the nature of the game. It's the nature of the game. It's the nature of the game. I, I think that this was. Um, if we lose here, that's just one of those. Oh, we, we, we don't have Deluge in the deck, because Deluge sucks. I mean, I think that we're, we're playing just fine. And I think that deck is just fine. Oh, posh the fucking Grave Piercer. Now, what do I want to place now? I think I think I will do the Oracle of Tragedy. Let's cycle. Let's do a little... Then I will likely assimilate... Oh, that's such a good news. The best fucking news. Bring it on! Yeah, I, th I think Villain just literally doesn't have land, so they discarded their most expensive thing. Yeah, let's let's just do this right now. I mean, this this is kind of an absolutely insane one to flip. Our opponent isn't close to six, which is where the haste cycler is. So we don't have to worry too much about that. I do also have two two twos, so that's good. We also have unseal and necropolis. Go ahead and refill. Doop doop. Trading the Anaki Javelin here is fine by me because, you know, I just don't want him to do anything to flip. And again, Unseal the Necropolis is really good. Hey, it's blue mana. Hagar the Freezing Flame. Alright, so. I'm gonna do like this. Right on the main face. Okay, so we'll just get both of these back. Tragedy is just not an issue at all for us. Umazawa and these can now swing in. sorcery here. Just to be efficient. So, I mean, we're, we're drowning them in card advantage, so I'm going to swing with all my big stuff. Leave Assimilate Essence up. All my 1Xs are unblockable. I mean, the double block is legit. It's also fine. Forgotis Gaming says, Hope everyone in day nine is having a beautiful day. Dude, I'm having a good one. I'm having a good one. I'm in, a, I'm in, I'm in just a grand mood. I'm in a grand mood. A lot of just life stuff is, is going really well. I mean... Dude, I gotta be real with you, man. I just fucking, like, literally, I could hang out with my two cats, my dog, and my wife forever and just be, like, having a great time. 
<laughs> I just... No. So I'm just like, you know, like that's really good. Magic the Gathering, I'm not gonna lie. This set has invigorated my love for Standard again. I've been playing Standard all weekend. And, I mean, like, like, here's the thing. I have always only streamed what I want to stream. I have never been someone who has felt pressured into doing X, Y, Z, or the other. I'm going to keep six and send the island back since we have a lot of devil blacks. And, I mean, there are things that I choose not to stream because the viewership is not good. For instance, um really abstract puzzle games. Just don't get that great of, uh... Just don't get that great of views. And that's alright. That is all good. But... I've never been in a situation where I'm like, oh my god, I have to stream Hearthstone or I have to stream Magic, otherwise bad things will happen. Oh god. You know, I'm, I've never been in that unfortunate situation that I know a lot of people can get into. And so for that reason, I just like, am generally like really happy streaming the things that I want to stream, but it sure helps when the viewership for those games goes up. <laughs> and that's what's been happening with Magic. The viewership on Magic has increased over time. Or I should say, increased since the launch of MLM. Fuck. I think I do have to do this, even though I don't really want to do this. I would rather leave Assimilate Essence up. But right now, my entire board is unblockable, which is very nice. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, like, really, really, really enjoying... Oh, that's a relief to see. I'm really, really, really enjoying just... Playing this game. I'm going to do something a little strange. I'm going to corrupt this one. Which reduces my overall damage. But I really want to make sure that I can have enough to keep hitting land drops in case big things crop up. And hey, that one, James. Thank you so much for the raid, man. I've been really, really kind about just sending the Jamers. <laughs> to our channel lately, and I really appreciate it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, looks like, looks like someone is... Someone's been a-watching our stream, huh? Alright. I'm I'm hoping that my opponent just like concedes out of I am so fucking awesome. Yeah, I hope my opponent just gets out of there. Just, just dip out this. Dylan's got some fucking shit going on here, man. We are doing it. I think this is actually the best play here. Just to get rid of the cards. I think this is the play. That's Komazawa's great, super great card. But yeah, there's just a lot of things that are going really nice in life. 
there's certainly a lot of things that are still really stressful, really tough. Um, go for the win. Oh, fucking right. Of course, of course, of course. Totally forgot about the urn. Draw on Disco. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Um, hey, Mother of Two Cats, thanks also for the five gifted subs. Mother of Two Cats, you've been very generous with the five gifties lately. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you, babies. Sure. Great. Nice. Like, honestly, the fact that my cat is, like, healed and is back to being a complete fucking asshole is really, really nice. I'm just enjoying the games, enjoying the work stuff, enjoying the... And again, this, this is going to sound so weird... But this is something that has been meaningfully impactful for me. You know, I've been working on the game studio stuff for a really long time. And it naturally takes a huge amount of hours. And so when I would be late to streaming or tired or something along those lines. This is kind of a weird hand. This is a risky key, but I think hang on to it. But it feels psychologically so much comfier for me to be like, hey, I'm not streaming Friday because I have studio work to do. Like, that actually feels more comforting and relaxing to me. I feel less stressed. Because, you know, like, like, have you ever been having a really tough day? Like, let's imagine you just, you know, you got into a fight with a loved one. All right. Really simple, standard, oh yeah, no, I had a shitty day, yeah, it was really tough, it was really shitty. You ever had one of those shitty days, and then you mess up something at work, and someone's like, hey, it's not okay. You really gotta get your shit together, man. And you're like, yeah, nope, nope, I know, I know, I understand. And they're like, no, do you? Do you understand? You really have to get it together we can't do this and you can't be like oh i got in a fight with my friend like you can't say that shit and so it feels like you you're double hurt you have to like double suppress and you're in double pain it sometimes felt a little bit like that where i'm just like yeah you know, can't fucking say anything this fucking, this fucking suck i did not like it it all matters is my whole year to be honest yeah, dude, it's, I hate that feeling. Yes, no, I understand, yes, of course. No, I agree, I agree that that's bad. Yes. Nanteen, I, I don't have a good Owen Wilson impression. I don't have a good Owen Wilson impression. And you don't even have to bribe me to get my not good Owen Wilson impression. I don't know how to count. All right, let me do this. What about a Luke Wilson impression? I, I, have, I, have, I have no fucking good impressions except the goat. Nanteen says you did sound like him a bit earlier. I don't know what to do with that. What do you want me to do with that? Well, in that case, here comes Owen. Like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't believe it. Bye bye. Because you can be like, wow. And I don't know, that sounds like Owen Wilson. Or it sounds like my cat if she smoked weed. Meowing at the door in the morning. Meow. Oh, D9, that was. Oh, God, that was really good. Oh! Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Mm 
Meow. Ozerlith, the Shattered Spar. This is what I got. This is what I have got for you today. I really need more mana really badly. That's super duper unfucking believably what I need right now. Greed is good. Actually, I probably should have swung with Tetsuko. Because what I'm hoping to do is Halo Forge for th three, and then Deadly Derision again on the Mutagen Connoisseur. This is a bit of an issue. It's like one flyer just grows out of control, and one land creature eventually grows out of control as well. Ow. about doing that, but that one's really good for us, huh? Alright. Well, this is the game. So we have five damage a turn, and we have a flyer. We can draw a shitload. We have Karuga that we can't even cast. So it's going to be Corruption of Tawashi. Hopefully we get another mana. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Really? Ow. Alright, well, I mean, this makes sense. I'm going to take this damage. We have more deadly derisions. Absolutely. <clears throat> huh. I'm not entirely sure what to do, but it will probably be uh, involving me chump blocking some stuff. Can I chump the Elvish Vat Keeper enough to win the video game? This card's, like, way better than I thought. It's, like, really sick. Yeah, because, I mean, Kamiya Whispered Hope immediately is going to get a bunch put onto it. Okay, so I block like this. Bang, bang. Meow, meow. This, this is the thing that really fucking sucks. So, let's see here. Alright, so that's gonna need to get the Thunder Herd. Do I wanna leave something back? Like this, probably. Oh, we're gonna be doing some chumping for sure. Big fucking chumps.
Aren't you dead in the air? No. Because if he blocks, this dies. Alright, because we have death touch. And if he doesn't block, it hits this. And I summon uh, another flyer from the grave. Like a boss. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna rub across my coffee? Look, it's right here. Rub across this. Rub on this. There you go. Looks like we're gonna go four and three, which I'm very pleased with. All right. Yeah, I, I think that the, our deck had some merit and some real big power cards, but it just felt, it feels a little uh, cobbled together. It feels a little bit uh, clunky. This is some of the really, really, really good shit. Oh, we love the smell of coffee. We love coffee, don't we? Oh boy, oh boy, Desperados. And what now? So, I mean, I'm gonna Archpriest block whatever's here. That's fine. Ah, fuck, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Turn on full control and shit. Draw and then discard. Probably this is the right thing to do. Probably. Fuck. This is the game. All right. Deadly derision off the top. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased we got paired against a sword of bing and bong, whatever it is. A sword of anti-swamp and anti-island. Um, that game was really close, and our other loss, I think, was fine. So, you know, overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased. And so, we are now done with our very first attempt to climb. 